But Crystalline, you know, there's some characters that still kind of have that kind of thing. Possessed, Crystalline, Sorcerer Quan, and very good armor by Ominous right there. Use the bar to get a bar. 30%? Forever King down at 50% already. Yeah, no, no, no. I'm gonna try to keep that momentum going if, if Forever King tried to make the conscious decision to armor to stop the, the momentum. You might the armor break just in case. I, I, like, the, I like the start for Ominous. Try to stop the advancement from Forever King, but forward one two is an issue to try to stop coming in. You, you have to down forward check that, man. And look at the zoning right now by King, and just that was very smart by King. Just take the hit. Get the whip punish. I guess you could call it that. It's a really weird thing to call. Ooh, we can, oh, and the raw flip kick. Flip kick. Give me the mix. I'm up with the arm break. Yeah, but the tick throw off of it. I love that setup. It puts Ominous in the corner, but at least he got the round. And it is a double hitting normal as well, so it could possibly break armor if the armor is that slow. Ooh! Such a weird exchange there. Got him out of the armor in the air. And King just waking up, not blocking. Just within range there with the interactable. Perfect use of that armor. Let me go in the final hit and then punishing correctly. Perfect thing is running away with this round right now. But Ominous is about to go into the final round. Fully loaded. King still sitting on a breaker. We'll see who draws first blood here. Oh, and put that block down, shot. sir. Good oh, and good. King. Absolutely. Back one, two. Look at and that pressure. That's two game. throws. King, one of the one of the better players at taking throws, has gotten thrown twice in this first match. And Ominous using Brawler right now does not have access to Hollywood's instant air guns. The challenge a little bit more in the zoning war. What's the mix? Oh, and very good armor. That would have been trade. so close. And what a flash parry from King! And Ominous isn't going to get the breaker in time. And wow, that flash parry out of nowhere from Forever King to take that match. Pay your respect. What looked to be like Ominous had the right game plan going in, and maybe he he does have a solid game plan. But King, with that armor, smart stuff. You know, back one, two, four. There is a gap between the two and the four, and he would just let that hit. And just go on full full punish. I don't I don't know what to call that a whiff punish, yeah. uh, even though it technically is a hit. Is hard a hard one to call. But regardless, King with the smart stuff and Ominous going with Shaolin Kung Jin. Yeah, that was one of the cleanest cleanest flash parries I've ever seen in my entire life. That thing came out so quick, and King used it perfectly. And you know how 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 great of a tool it is. You rarely see it actually work. Even right there, he went for a flash parry. You rarely see it work in those kind of situations. And, oh my goodness. Just let him hit him out of the armor. Got the punish. Okay, goes for the overhead. Up arrow. Not sure wow. what he was going for there. Every time Ominous gets that armor, that flexilene off, he's just putting it right back on, right in his face. King, King. we in full control now. Ominous going to Shaolin, which is interesting. Shaolin hasn't seen too many times since the nerf, other than Slayer, who King has so much experience against. It might have been a while, but that experience is definitely there, having played him probably every day for. I mean, year? Year and a half? Year and a half, yeah. Okay, good armor by Ominous. Get himself out of that situation. King sitting on three bars. Had the flex up. Tried to flash parry. Didn't matter. Forever King could close this out without the drop.
King is up 2-0 right now, and I I really don't know, like you were like you were talking about, the Shaolin Kung Jin pick. Probably not one of the better ones. Um, if he has a Hollywood, I would have rolled with, with probably Hollywood Cassie. He did really good with Brawler. He just couldn't compete or contest uh, the zoning from Forever King in Brawler. Yeah, but the up, the up close game was incredible. And going with Covert Ops, now he's going for some mix here. And one of these guys, this is also a match just like we saw with Dab and um, Vendetta. One of these guys is going to make their first top eight as well in Combat Cup, which is unheard of looking at Forever King. Right. Having never exactly. made a top eight here in Combat Cup, that, that stat actually blew my mind a little bit. And starting with a flash parry again is Forever King. There's nothing off of it. King picking up right where he left off. Okay, good block. Oh, tried to go with the mix. No, sir, can't do that. One, one thing I'm waiting for King to do is there is actually a gap in Sonya's back one four that not a whole lot of people, even pre-patch, would exploit with armored launchers, but it is a thing. Oh, flash very good patience by Ominous. He's gonna have to hold all this, and he jumped. What a from Ominous blocked. from that entire sequence. That was an onslaught from hell, and Ominous stood his ground. That was sensational play. Oh, and very good flash very by King right there. <laughs> Ooh. I love that. Oh, and broke the flash parry. Okay, Ominous. Go with the mix. Oh, and tried to grab. Very smart by King using the interactable, getting out of that situation. And uh, enhanced parry. He is going to be able to combo off of this and just goes with the down wow. four. He can get so much damage off of that EX parry. That may, and, and, and hear me out, the max damage off of that is an instant dive kick and he might have done it too quick and down oh. four may have come out yeah yeah you could actually i think you're probably right i'm 98 percent sure that i'm two percent sure that that's what happened <laughs> just make up the weirdest shit. <laughs> yeah the the down four uh you're you're probably right you're probably right um because in that situation, there's no reason for you to just down four and try and get some more plus frames. Uh, and here we go. Grandmaster sub. This, this is going to be a tough one for Ominous. Covert Ops, you know, doesn't really excel anywhere except in your face. And if she gets you in the corner, that's the same thing Grandmaster is looking for. And it's just a battle for the corner. And whoever gets it, more than likely, you're going to keep your opponent in there. Gets the punish. Oh, and that down three. By Ominous counter poking the down four into clone. Oh! Ooh. I'm not sure if Sonya can, can punish subs back too. It maybe depends on range, but he went for the mix regardless. Oh, and very good low! All oh, the space down right four. now for Perfect King is so perfect. Oh, that, oh, that my looked God. like a read down to, not a reactionary down to. That man just knew that, that he was going in the air. Fight. And Ominous not really able to get anything started. This is not the place he needs to be. Ominous has to find a way out. Very good dive kick. Got himself out of that situation. And the reactionary armored slide. Oh, and a down two with neutral jump cut kick. <laughs> and the armor in the gap by Ominous. And finally gets hit by the clone. And this could actually do it. 
for Forever King. Oh, and a good tech by Ominous. He is still alive. Dive kick. Oh, and a down two. Oh my god, Ominous, please. Oh, down four. He had close. <laughs> he had himself in a position where he could have gotten one mix in, but put, but he respected.